Yeah, the smartphone changed the world. Yeah. It absolutely changed the world. And I think what happened in the election is in is a is a direct product of 2007 onwards. Mm. You know, and cuz you see that this just explosion in change not only that, now we're all sharing so much that there's a lot of the world that is starting to now be able to see what they don't have. Every little kid is taught that they shouldn't talk to strangers. I mean, do you talk to strangers? How do you know if a stranger is worth speaking to? Hey, kid, don't talk to strangers. Where's my daughter at? I'm going to go get my daughter in here in a minute and tell her she's three weeks old, but she needs to know this. So coming out of the election, the way that it went was devastating because in a way, the first few days, I had a hard time getting off the fucking floor, you know? And then after that, there was the sadness, then there was the anger about it, then there was the waking up every morning and going, like, there was one moment where I'd actually had a nightmare in which this world was like a world that it is right now but then I woke up and I realized oh, fuck I'm waking up into my nightmare right now so scared first of all historically the United States always swings back and forth between Republican and Democrat pretty much every eight years unless there's been a couple blips of four years there right so that was already happening and the reason why that it happens is because there is this tension not just in the United States but around the world between ideas that somewhere between those two ideas lies the truth, mm. right? So it's a necessary push and pull of a conservative and a progressive kind of energy. Um, and it happens all over the planet, by the way. I mean, every country deals with the same energies, opposing forces that we do here in the United States. And I'm a Canadian by birth. Mm -hmm. I'm also a British citizen. I became an American in 2008. I've been living here since 95, but I became, became a you know, citizen to vote for Obama in 2008. And I have so much that I'm critical of about mm. here in the United States, but that occurs in every country. There's always the, the things that we want to be better. It's the promise, it's the idea that we're all struggling towards that I like I uh, you know it's maybe our execution isn't great you know as as a country we're got a lot to work on you know but why I'm you know making my choice to work in this country on this is because I feel like the promise of what America is life liberty the pursuit of happiness like yeah. these beautiful simple con you know concepts in the Constitution and in terms of human rights and what it's done and that it wants to give people ultimately freedom. And, you know, that word is thrown around so much, but um, the freedom to live your life happily. Mm. I think that's the key to exist, you know, like freedom to live our lives happily in is what joy. we want in our joy, to live in our joy. Mm. That's what we as a society should be trying to do and working and striving towards so that all people, all people right. have the possibility to pursue their joy. The systems aren't working, and I think what Trump has been is just people who don't quite understand why the system isn't working, but it just feels really unfair. Mm -hmm. It's really unfair. I recognize it, and I live a blessed life, mm -hmm. but it is an unfair system. And there are a lot of people in this country, and there are a lot of people around the world who are unable to live a life of dignity. Dignity, not even wealth. I don't want wealth. I just want dignity. I want to live a life of dignity, mm -hmm. meaning that I can have a roof over my head, I can feed myself. If I decide I'd like to have children with my wife, we could have children. They would have access, they would be able to go to school and become the best people that they could possibly be so I could create human beings that contribute to society in the best way possible. It's so important that right, we do that. That we do that. And then I want to know that as a human being, that if I get sick, that others will take care of me, that we can take care of each other. 
We must protect our borders from the ravages of other countries making our products, stealing our companies, and destroying our jobs. As President-elect, Donald Trump visited Carrier's Indiana factory, touting a deal he personally helped broker $7 million in tax breaks to keep the plant from moving to Mexico, saving over a 1,000 jobs. Since then, Carrier has nonetheless laid off over 500 workers. And right now, people feel really disconnected. They feel very forgotten in this country. They forget, they feel afraid because their futures feel uncertain. Yeah. You know, and they feel... And rightfully so. And rightfully so, absolutely. Their, their futures are, un are uncertain because the jobs are getting... It, it's been difficult. Mm -hmm. They don't know if they're going to get sick. Yeah. And if they do get sick, it's going to be bad for them. They're given poor educations. The schools in this country look like the prisons of this country. Right. We've got an entire school system, or the public school system, in a lot of this country where the buildings look pretty much identical to prisons. The food isn't as good as prison food. <laughs> and when you walk these hallways, you feel like you're in a prison. It's like we're prepping them. We have a great interest in helping them turn their lives around, get a second chance, and make our community safe. Many prisoners end up returning to crime, and they end up returning to prison. Two-thirds of the 650,000 people released from prison each year are arrested again within three years. We can help break this vicious cycle through job training — very important, job training — mentoring and drug addiction treatment. And you know how we're focused on drugs pouring into our country and drug addiction. It's a big problem, even as we speak of this subject. We'll be very tough on crime, but we will provide a ladder of opportunity for the future. Yeah, and there are parts of the system that make it yeah. almost impossible to exist in it without breaking some laws. There's another conversation about that. And bad laws are meant to be broken. Yes. I do not believe in law. Laws being impervious. Yeah, it bad laws are meant sense. to be broken. If they don't make yeah. sense, if they just aren't rational, then we all need to go. Well, yeah. why, why are we still following these rules? They don't yeah. make any sense. Safety, a yeah. false sense of safety. It's a false sense of like well, false ideas, right? Like, mm -hmm. why do we love them? Because mm -hmm. they're comforting. They are. Well, they're also laws are a collective. They're a contract between mm -hmm. society. It's a contract of society. So yeah. they're basically saying, listen, we just need to have these rules so we all know that this is the way we all get treated fairly, right? right. If I we, we work within these realms, you don't do that because actually if you do that, it might be good for you, but it kind of hurts like three other people over there. Have you noticed that? Yeah. So could you do something else that doesn't hurt, hurt those three people, right. but still do what well, you do? We have a do? tough titty attitude in, in, in America. It's well, a, then tough shit, figure it out, get over it, work it out, get over it. It's like... It's not working either, guys. It's a zero. It's an understanding of a zero-sum world. Mm -hmm. Right now, we live in a paradigm in which we think that if I get something good, if something good happens to me, mm -hmm. someone else is going to have to suffer a little bit for it. Yeah. There's only so much goodness to go around. I know. There's only so much money to go around, which is not true, by the way. The energy, you know, money has to also be looked at a different way. It's just stored energy. Mm -hmm. And it is. it's stored energy. Yeah. Someone does something with blood, sweat, tears, whatever it is, then that gets transferred into a currency, which is storable, and it can be transferred, and then it turns back into energy right. again. Right. So if you don't let energy move, and if you don't distribute it properly across a population, mm -hmm. things get... This is what happens. This is what happens. Yeah. If you don't spread that energy evenly so everyone is empowered yeah. to pursue their joy, right. this is what happens. Right. Build that wall. 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 Yeah, and going back to Stockholm syndrome, I mean, what you have as well is when you when you are the oppressed. Mm -hmm. If you identify yourself as the oppressor, you're no longer the oppressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's the switch. Suddenly, yeah. you may, you create this little brain game, and you're like. Well, I'm with the guy who's got his right. boot, you know, right. foot on my neck right, right. now. But I, I'm with him. Right. I'm with him, buddy. Yeah. So yeah.
when I see what he writes on Twitter, I think this is look. I'm really patriotic. I'm a patriot. That's what's at the heart of this project and everything that I'm kind of trying to do is this is going to be my leader. This is who I have to, you know what I mean, respect and follow. I don't respect him. I don't follow him. You know, I don't want you saying that you have haters. I don't want my president not to be a grown ass man. Yeah. Like, haters? Yeah. Born when there was a choice, always will be sheltered, right to say what you want to say. Right to do what you want to do. Only a mere child. No choice in who your parents are. But a father doesn't always consider now that you will be left to face people in a planet that he has disgraced. Seriously, what was she thinking? Tweeting like a bird from your little nest? But look at you as you add filters to all that you do. Fire me? For what? It's just a joke. I'll go broke. Gotta put my armor on for all them jabs and jeers. Some folks want me gone. That's why they cheer. Oh, what a fine little mess, you two little birds in your tweet nest. The peanut and birdie, left and right, fight, fight, fight. Keyboard warriors crying freedom of speech. It was a dumb joke compared to unapologetic hate, mongering, racism, sexism, active encouragement of violence and hate. Contemplate. Quick to listen, slow to tweet. The world sees and hears all, no need to debate that there's hate. The left, the right, people living in bubbles. No one around you finds this a struggle to agree with someone who looks like you and thinks what you do too. Fear of different, no one listens. Will there ever be a time when we try to understand the life of another, the experiences of a different human? We sit back and criticize the other side for name calling and bullying while you simultaneously defend your rights to do the same thing. Ever notice how the ways of the wise generally refrain from telling lies? What we are spoon fed looking at our phones in bed? Have we been told anything true? Anything that's been said? The truth is that we have two ears and just one mouth. Quick to listen, slow to speak. Quick to judge and we continue to go south. Sincerely, the middleman. What Trump's not healthy. Yeah. All right? Sure. I think we can all agree, right and left, we know he's not healthy. And you don't go onto Twitter at midnight and start spouting off to the world when you are. You just don't. The That's, leader of the free world. And to say incendiary things that are mean spirited and misspelled. And misspelled. Yeah, fine, but mean spirited. Like, not nice, not kind. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of, we've put that person there. And I think it's because, you know, we've also, we're not kind to ourselves. This whole country is really feeling, they don't, no one likes each other right now. There's a lot of distrust. The Civil War is alive and well in this country. In this, oh, our Civil War is happening. It's still it's happening. I will tell you something. I watched those very closely, much more closely than you people watched it. And you have, uh, you, you had a group on one side that was bad, and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. And nobody wants to say that, but I'll say it right now. You had a group, you had a group on the other side that came charging in without a permit, and they were very, very violent. Go ahead. What you call the alt-left is the same as neo-Nazis? You're going to have to get used to uncuffed young men who are willing to stand for our future. So get used to it. There's going to be a lot more crying, sweetheart. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we're going to come back. We're going to come back again and again and again. I hear she was a fine... Really, actually, an incredible young woman. But her mother on Twitter thanked me for what I said. And honestly, if the press were not fake, and if it was honest, the press would have said what I said was very nice. But unlike you, and unlike, excuse me, unlike you and unlike the media, before I make a statement, I like to know the facts. They don't. And we don't talk about that stuff because we've been primed for Trump. Look at, look at TV and the media prior to him. We've been primed for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've been carefully primed mm -hmm. to accept someone who is unabashedly narcissistic. And just 
not even speaking the, the 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 fact that right now people are saying that facts don't matter the the truth is dead which i think is it's absurd it's well, absurd to say that making, then. it's a choice we're making it's not that facts are dead facts right. will science will always be there facts will always be there right they're never going away. So no, they're not dead. We've just, and if we keep saying that facts are dead, yeah, they're dead only because we just said it. All the mainstream media doesn't report correctly. Who's your, who's your preferred media? Fox. Fox? Mm -hmm. Only three and a half million people watch Fox on TV. You got 350 million people in this country. You think it's uh, the media purposely trying to help her? Sure, they're trying to. They want a global society. What do you mean global society? That means, that means the whole world one one whole world like intervenes uh, everybody no board boundaries anywhere and, and you can't have that he is brought to light to me that we are all obsessed with our feelings mm -hmm. he represents the kind of people who are always in their feelings mm -hmm. yeah no reality no fact checking no talk no just kind of about like, just you know like whatever feels good for him at that yeah, moment I'm mad, so i'm gonna do yeah, this exactly. i'm gonna drink i'm gonna overeat i'm gonna you criticize me i retaliate i retaliate yeah. and I get it's like you. a reptilian brain yes you know it's very basic it's very basic very basic and so he's a reminder to us to be enlightened mm -hmm. and to not be basic and to be kind we're just figuring this thing out right now we're just early into this and so fake news happened because we haven't really had an ethical discussion about the fact that we are all now journalists um this is where i think uh, artists thrive in these times historically it's true we're fed by it it's uh, um it's when we become um very uh we become leaders because artists i see and i, I know because i work in the arts then maybe i have a certain you know uh i have a slant but we're the dreamers mm -hmm. right so we we kind of think take things out of nowhere manifest them as an idea and as a concept as a possibility whether it be a book that describes a world mm. or an idea that describes an entirely new way of technology working even though we don't even know how that technology could be built yet but wouldn't it be great if that technology existed wouldn't it be great if there was a transponder that you could just talk into and it would communicate with the world and then you, you, know, you get beamed down to the surface and you're beamed back up? You know, we, we dream these things up and then the engineers come into play and yeah. they help to then manifest those in real physics ways. Mm -hmm. And the politicians come in and they help to manifest the ideas of society and systems and how a greater world that's good for all could be, could be had, like we, we idealize. So the, the artists in a way that we dream which leads society along to build behind it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is a really important time for artists right now. How do we want to see the world? We don't. Have, we can talk about how the world is right now, sure, but only in that it helps to support a vision, what, a vision of where we want to be. Yeah.